now we are going to cover the new transaction codes in S4 HANA. There is around 42 transactions that are brand new in S4 HANA, but I have picked up the ones that are really useful. Okay, I have divided all the transaction codes based on the type of stuffs that they do. So for the first first department would be SAP workflow configuration transaction codes. So we have a transaction called SWF enable trace. We had already something in SAP SWEL, but they did this specially only so that they can I think control control the authorization based on it and uh, so that's why they created this transaction the next is swf execute action which is workflow automatic updates uh, the third one is swf push notification this is something that they have built so that they can get into the mobile world more frequently where they can push notification if it's required and then you have something called the push notification underscore cast where you can customize the uh, push notification another one they have added is the stack trace where you can check the workflow stacks where it's uh, where so that the debugging becomes easier the other one is swf underscore tcm configure filter that's workflow task filter configuration so you can filter all the workflow tasks then there is workflow trace display the workflow trace display is similar to the enable trace but there here it will tell what is the trace it shows another one which is very important is the workflow swf user attributes that does the maintain workflow user attributes and the last is the workflow user attribute to customize the workflow attributes so this covers the sap workflow configuration transaction codes uh, we will cover more in the system in details related with the configuration transaction that are available in s4 hana and market this is not available in ecc6 so these are brand new so the, ne the next portion that we cover we are going to cover is sap workflow job scheduling transaction codes now this transaction codes are covered so what they did is people were getting confused of what are the different types of jobs that workflow needs to run and they were giving programs so so what they did is instead they gave transaction code so it's very easy so you can just uh, schedule these jobs based on these transaction codes so uh, uh, i think schedule background jobs task analysis some of them are repetitive some of them are display only and so when we will cover it in details in the system it will be more meaningful so for so far so, uh, for this uh, for this portion we have 10 transactions the next portion is the sap workflow administration t -cos. this is pretty useful this is related with um, with the generic uh, the utility stuff then we have the create work item text that's quite new and then they have a gives gave something on uh, for the cloud version so that you know you can execute some stuff and then you can display work items without agents and then work items with deleted agents and then they have built something for the archiving piece to move the work item to the to the hot 